uh, hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and uh, guys in this video this is my third video in this segment is in this series and i will show you how to install adk adk is, uh, is like you know assessment and deployment kit and it is a basic requirement or you can say prerequisist uh, before installing sccm so let me tell you about it a little bit so guys basically it is a it is a package of multiple uh, you know tools and you uh, when you dealing i um, mean when you are dealing with windows infra so it helps you to you know customize windows image for larger scale deployment and uh, to test the quality and performance of your system it uh, add it it is added uh, component and uh, the application running on it and the windows deployment kit includes couple of things like you know the windows assessment toolkit and bin, uh, windows performance toolkit to access assess assess the quality and performance of system or computers apart from this uh, some other tool like uh, bin pe sysprap and uh, other tools that you can use to customize and deploy windows 10 image and what is uh, bin pe here bin pe is like uh, bin pe is like you know it is pre installation environment so it helps you to create a pre-installation environment uh, is a in in a, in a larger environment where you want to deploy a PCs, workstation, and servers, or also for troubleshooting an operating system while it is in offline. So this is a basic information, just a small introduction about ADK, and it has lots of information. You can go through Google and find out like uh, ADK windows like that if you put uh, lots of information will come here you can go through i'm not uh, uh, going through each and everything in detail and uh, it is coming it will come i will show you this is what i wanted to show you and some some more information you can download it from here i downloaded from here this website only and so guys in this just we are going to install it because it is a basic requirement and this is my infra i will be using uh, four virtual machine one is active directory second one is sscm server where i have deployed sql already in my previous video and we'll be using couple of virtual machine for testing and uh, very uh, for verification all the configuration so this is what we are going to do here and let me introduce to my virtual machine here so as of now i deployed two server only one is active directory as i told you active directory is required for authentication and the second one is SSCM server and I am installing all these things on server 2019 this is my server active directory as you can see here india.com is domain name and I gave IP address second this is active directory domain service is installed apart from that DNS and uh, you can see here it is Windows Server 2019 standard evaluation version and the second server is SSCM I, I logged in as a service account I created and I showed you in my previous videos how to create it and if you go to dashboard dashboard is here you can see like local server once again it is member of domain india.com and uh, there is nothing installed as of now okay except SQL server I installed in my previous video and it is using IP address DHCP okay let me change it to one dedicated IP address So I will give IP address 192.168.0.253 and 192.168.0.1 gateway and this is my active directory IP address TNS 10 and uh, here only we have to install this application I have already installed SQL server in previous video SQL server uh, management studio couple of things and showed you how to connect database and uh, let me go to this and uh, open this i'm just showing you what i have installed in previous video and this is the uh, thing we are going to install here ad adk setup and let me just double click on it and it is coming now so guys specify location where you want to install it install the windows assessment and deployment kit on this server or you want to give some other uh, uh, server location so i want to install here only and click next here 
it is asking for windows uh, kit privacy send anonymous uses data to microsoft for windows 10 kit so i don't want this and click next here now it is license agreement accept and guys we don't require all the features of this we required only four four is one is user state migration tool and uh, configuration designer image and configuration designer icd and deployment tools only four so you just inst click install it and uh, just give yes here now that further installation has been started as you can see you, you should connect to internet sometime it downloads couple of files from internet if your internet is working then uh, it will go on else it will give you a couple of error okay and this is my sql server i just wanted to show you what i installed in previous video and this is sql server uh, management studio uh, we had increased ram we had assigned ram memory basically for sql server in previous video and uh, we'll keep monitoring this installation also so this is what if you are not connected to internet you will uh, see this kind of error i faced a lot in my previous video and now i'm connected to i mean i was trying earlier also but i was not connected to internet so now i'm connected to internet and it is showing you uh, this the further state of installation so here it is showing some error not an issue let me try to connect even as of now that is not required only you have to install this kit and i'm just pausing this video because it is taking time uh, so guys here that installation has been done complete uh, successfully completed successfully uh, if you want you can la uh, launch uh, this started guide from here the if you check mark here launch the getting started guide and close it so it will open one guide here and these are the website i just open here just keep internet on to your system wherever you are installing it because that is a basic requirement it will download lots of things uh, required lots of things uh, from uh, microsoft website so let me just i'm not launching anything and that installation is done and next video will understand the next uh, you know required step in this infra or deployment of uh, SSEM and we spoke about AD, ADK and if you feel it is informative you know what you have to do for more videos if you want to get notification subscribe like comment and share and in next video, uh, video I will be showing you how to install IIS and Windows Server update WSUS role for SSEM okay that is the uh basic requirement one more basic requirement for sscm so till the time watch and try to learn only one thing i'm telling you you need to keep internet up if you are making a lab or installation this kind of then only it will uh, work properly else you will get lots of uh, you know messages or error while deploying you can see here it got uh, deployed windows kit here now you can open couple of things like this is deployment and imaging tooling uh, if you click this environment basically so it uh, we can run lots of a uh, couple of uh, you know commands i will be showing you in coming up videos uh, because now i'm just you know uh, uh, yeah. making infra so that we can work easily so first i installed sql now i installed edk in next video we'll be going to install iis and wsos and then uh, we'll go for the further videos or further configuration so till then bye bye thanks for watching for this video